today, high winds in the Pittsburgh area. We talked to West Penn Power now with First Energy about concerns around power outages and how they prep for windy days like this. The North Shore this morning, flags, trees and signs blowing in the wind. The urine Steelers country flag at stage AE flapping around and this is just the start. This has been on our radar here, uh, so to speak, for, for the last several days. Today, winds at 35 miles per hour, reaching nearly 40 miles per hour at lunchtime. We talked to Todd Myers with West Penn Power now with First Energy about a chance for power outages. When we have these kinds of winds, the primary concern is either trees falling into the lines or branches, trees coming into contact with the lines. Myers says the power company spends close to $40 million a year to trim along the power lines. This year, they've trimmed 40,000 miles of power line. Today, he expects the worst of the winds to hit the Laurel Highlands area. And since this will happen around midday, Myers says the timing is good. We have all our crews in, and then we can see if there's, if there's significant damage or if there's a lot of outages. And we're able to do a couple of things. First of all, we're able to hold the guys over uh, so they'll they'll work uh, 16 hours straight if necessary when you get into storm mode. Duquesne Light Company telling Pittsburgh's Action News 4 it is monitoring the potential for high winds today and has a crew on standby. Going on to say customers should report outages to their website or mobile app. Meyer echoing the same message. The more people that report it, it helps us begin to uh, narrow down the area where to where to get out there and look for the problem. If you're a West Penn Power customer and lose power today, report it. You can call 188 lights with two S's or go online and make your report. The link to that is up on WTAE.com. Reporting on the North Shore, Kylie Walker, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. And that's spokesperson.